Ni hao. That's high in Chinese. Slowing down. Slowing down in the information highway. Taking that sacred pause. Feeling what it means to breathe. I know if you're tuning in, you're like, hey, I want to breathe with that guy a little bit. So when I was writing my book, one of the real game changers was Ishmael by Dan Quinn. And the reason it was a game changer is that he explains very, very defini definitively and precisely with lots and lots of supportive anthropological evidence that this so-called great society that we live in in the first world, um, the developed world, um, that it has a long history um, between five and 10,000 years old, um, coming out of the, the, um, the area, what we know of as the Fertile Crescent and the Agricultural Revolution. And that out of the, um, out of those people formed a very small sect uh, a warrior culture, a dominator culture, um, a, a, an imperialist culture, um, and that we have come to believe in the first world that this is the only, this is the only way to really look at things. And if, you know, if you look carefully, at media and news, um, there is this sense that um, industrial capitalism based on a extractive economy, a um, mentor of mine, John Perkins, calls it a death economy, that just has to keep taking more and more and more and that the values are always about material affluence and of uh, having the most things and the most money that this is this is the taker culture that's 5 to 10,000 years old but it's not the only culture that there is also a culture of leavers, but unfortunately the takers have pretty much taken everything and the leavers are few and they're, they are mostly um, not cultures, but individual humans. There's definitely a few lever cultures left, but they're definitely deeply embedded in the taker culture. So this whole series of videos that I'm doing and my book, Wild Earth, Wild Soul, is about saying, hey, wait a minute. Um, is this the way we're all gonna go? Sort of, is this the, the way, you know, it's just gonna keep going and we're going to drive ourselves into extinction? Or can we gather together with different values, lever values, where happiness and connection and joy and economic security in the sense of that we, we want a certain degree of stability, economic stability in our life, but it is not based on... Um, <laughs> 
what we think of now as astronomical wealth. We don't, we don't need to have 8 billion people on the planet all aspiring to be billionaires. It's like everybody knows that's not going to work. And in my previous video, it's like we know intuitively that if we just keep going in that direction, we're going to run ourselves off the cliff. So yesterday's video was, yes, quite um, optimistic, but it's optimistic based upon us changing the dream of how we're operating here. And obviously, we're not going to go about trying to change everybody else. We're going to change ourselves. And uh, for my money, building um, local land-based community that has ecological and spiritual values at the core, that's the game changer. And I, I guess I want to challenge all of us to spend some time going there because it's filled with joy. Why not?